welcome to another deck artwork flip through. So we're on our second of five decks from Commander 2013. This is the white, blue, black deck Eternal Bargain. If you want to check out a previous video I did where I actually unboxed this and talked a little bit about the deck then I'll include a link in the description for that. As you know with these videos we are purely just flipping through the artwork because that's what it's all about in this video. Getting a chance to look at the artwork up close and personal. So let's have a flip through of this deck. Of course if you're just here for the cheese board you may have to wait till the end to get the full glory of that said board. So we're just going to start off with that first card and then these two. So the first card was the main commander, whatever you want to call it. I think I've been referring it to it as the lead commander from the deck. And then we have the alternates. Hopefully I've got that around the right way. And we're straight in there with a Sarah avatar. So I've stacked these so that the higher rarities are at the top. Interestingly enough, with these you will occasionally see additional cards which are in the not surprisingly in the three colours and I don't know if it happened so much with these decks um, or if it was ever a thing but it's quite possible as we go through these we may find the occasional legend which is there for your utility um, but you know and and features all of the colour identity of the deck but um, but isn't a commander. This is just a regular artifact creature, but it just made me think of that when I saw the three colours. In that I'm not sure how much outside of the commanders the additional cards um, had all through all of the colours in the colour identity, particularly for the three colour decks. in one of the colours. I think I've looked at this deck for a while, so it's always a uh, sense of excitement going through this and uh, reacquainting yourself with some of these cards, which at the time when I first cracked open the deck, I was pretty uh, excited to see. And so I think I've mentioned this in the previous ones, you get this mixture of cards that were specifically created for these decks and then reprints. But there's none of the you know, messing around with the um, set 
symbols or the um, the card numbering as there are with the uh, later decks. And they of course weren't specifically trying to line these up with uh, themes from whatever set had come out around the time that they were releasing the yearly commander product. You can see what I've been chatting, we've moved into uncommons. It's a surprise. Salt ring. <laughs> so we're on to, you know, I've said this before, probably my favourite part of the deck, the artefacts. I don't know, the artwork always makes me smile. Enchantments, and again, we're still at uh, uncommon here. Oh, yeah, was that the yeah, that was the cycle of curses? So, there were five of them, and obviously, there was going to be overlap color wise for three of the five curses in each of the decks as as you sort of work around what here would be a shard. Interesting when you see things like Roma's charm um, it always makes me think of the, there was a set of Trilands from way back as well. I don't think I've ever seen those printed in Paper Commander product. Um, if my memory serves me correctly, I think one may have turned up in the online product that actually came out before the first paper product, but I, I could be wrong. And we're now into... 
into common territory here. Yeah, another interesting thing, you know, we're on we're on shards, so of course we've got the appropriate obelisk there from the um, shards block. Now, I think it's quite possible we've got a number of uh, non-basic lands here. Try and always keep these together regardless of the rarity. I don't always get it right. But, uh, so we've got tricolour there and then we've got the... What is it? The life land in blue, black. Temple, original Ravnica block stuff. There's a guild gate. Of the cycling lands. And there's the command tower as well. And the promenade. Of course, we've seen this sort of card. I'll just. We'll show you the rules text on that in various guises in magic on cards that are functionally similar. There's another guild gate. And of course the panoramas often get forgotten about. All the worlds, another cycling land. Opal. Palace, so we're getting a nice range of cards here. There's the another Ravnica land, and the Guild Gate, same colour. Rupture Spire. That's turned up a few times in Magic's history now since this was uh, put out. Now we move on to the basic lands. So I have now taken the time with this one to straighten these up so we get all the same artwork together. You're going to see clumps of two and three copies depending on how many colours or yeah, sorry, how many cards in each colour when we're in the deck. You're getting you know, four different pieces of artwork per colour of mana. You can see we've got slightly less duplication there in blue simply because there was less um, basic lands for blue in this deck. And then moving on to the swamps. Nice choices of artwork by the way. thing I'll do here, I don't do this very often, I'm going to do a bit of a teaser for an upcoming artwork video, uh, one of the Friday ones. As you know I've promised to go through some older stuff in my collection. So yeah, I'll explain a little bit more 
about this when we actually get to the episode as to what where these are coming from thanks once again for watching bye for now and i'll catch you in the next episode